and you're listening to Broke Man Radio Worldwide, home of the Tribunes. You can be broke and still be classy. You know that, right? So be careful what you let in your house. Be careful what you bring into your house. Be careful what you approve in your house because, I mean, it could be a kid's show. But <laughs> listen, the main thing you have to understand is that the devil is smarter than you. The devil is smarter than me and been around for a long, long, long time. And it can make something look so nice. Something so simple, but it can be detrimental to your spiritual life. Movies. You know, it's just a little scary movie, but you never know what some of those people are uttering. You think they care about your safety, the safety of the people in your house? No. But it could be something just so small and tiny. There's nothing to it. But really, there is. A long time ago, ashamed to say that I used to play with Ouija boards. And I'm here to tell you that uh, they absolutely uh, will help you contact the dead. But it may not be what you think. Keep one thing in mind that demons are very intelligent. They've been around hanging out with you since the day you were born. So they know your weaknesses. They know what you can do and what you can't do. You're covered by grace. Okay, we're all covered by grace. You're covered by the blood. And no matter what, you can stand behind the shepherd and he will protect you. But in the spiritual realm, the spiritual world, the sole job of the bad guys is to take you down and do it. And you don't even see it coming in a movie, in a song, in a friend, in a place that you went to. I remember I was out of town one time, and this was years and years ago. I was invited to go out with these people and I went out with them and we're standing in this building and it was a bar. And I'm looking around going, this looks almost like a church. Come to find out it was a church. It had been a church in the past. I guess they had fallen off and not able to pay the mortgage. And, and to make it a novelty, they turned it into a, a nightclub. So be careful. Look around. Pay attention. The movies that you laugh at or think are funny, whatever, you really don't know what the hidden message is in the end. Now, the places I used to play the Ouija board in, man... The chaos did not stop. Those bad spirits did not leave. And the homes where that took place were destroyed. And some of the stories that come out of there are like, wow, wow. So if you don't think that that can affect you, then maybe you're just in that comfort zone. Maybe you're comfortable to where you're, you've been coached good enough to where you're off by one degree. That off by one degree, you know, years ago, if, you know, a lot of things that would fly today would never fly back in the generation of the 40s, the 50s, the 60s. People had this thing called decency. But today with media, things just get more and more easier for us to just, ah, eh, that's okay. Now, I'm not talking down to nobody. I'm talking to all of us, myself included. Be careful what you allow into your home. Be careful who you hang out with, because I'm telling you right now, if you were to get on an airplane and they said that you're going to make it there, there's a 99% chance that you're going to make it today. Would you get on the plane? Would that dire 1%, would you get on the plane? And the chances are probably not. Yeah, this pal is really good. He makes it to his destination 99% of the time. What happens to the other 1%? Well, let's not worry about that. Hey, listen, you're overreacting. Sir, sir, you're overreacting. You're acting like a Karen. Sit down somewhere, get on the plane. You've got to have the ability to say no, and you've got to have the ability to examine yourself Examine what you will and you won't allow. Hey, this is Broke Man Radio. You know, nothing to lose. 
the most dangerous person in the world is a guy that has nothing to lose. And I'm not dangerous. But I'm dangerous in the sense of telling you the truth. Now the media, they're going to try to sell a movie. They're going to try to sell a book. And they're going to try to sell you on whatever they can. But for me, you can't buy me, baby. Zero. I'm negative. I think I, I was figuring out the other day. I've been doing Broke Man Radio for five years now. And I bet you, I'm not betting. Whoa, whoa. I, I'm assuming that I've spent a couple of hundred dollars. So I'm negative. How about that? But I do appreciate all of y'all that support and listening to Broke Man Radio. Even if you just hit the like button and say, I don't have time for you today, Clay. Ugh. <laughs> It's a lot of fun. But just remember, just remember me saying, don't abandon your Bible. Don't abandon your church. And do not, please do not abandon God. Pray, talk to God, give him your time. I'll leave you with this one little thought here. Now, if you were in a relationship, a lot of you are. But if you never called your significant other and you walked off for a few months or a few years, and then came back to the house, things would be different. So with you and God, don't be a stranger. Don't just leave for months and years at a time and come back to him when you need him. But just, just give him a call today. Pray to him today. Read your Bible. And, and God will show you what's got to be done. This has been Broke Man Radio Heart to Heart. Much love.